Good morning, afternoon, or evening. It doesn't matter what time it is, you have chosen a great time to receive an encouraging message from the Word of God. We hope that these short messages will speak life into you, every one of your hearts and that you will be blessed by it. This is the LCC devotional series. Welcome to our Don Watch for this month of April. Today I will be talking about prayer. There are three areas in prayer. Communion, which is enjoying God's presence, petition, and intercession. Today, I will focus on communion, which is one of my favorites, enjoying God's presence. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. In the New King James Version, it says, And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. When was the last time you approach prayer as a need to be in God's presence? When was the last time that you longed to be in communion with your Father? When was the last time that you feel so in love with your God that you want to spend really quality time with Him? When was the last time? More often than not, when we talk about prayer, we talk about petitions and intercessions. But this time, let us realize who we are and who God is. God is a spirit. We also, as created beings, we are a spirit with a soul that lives in a body. And God is constantly inviting us to commune with Him to draw nigh unto Him. Many times we ask this question, what relationship do I want with God? But that is the wrong question. The right question is, what kind of relationship does God want with me? And the relationship that God wants with us is clearly laid out in the Scripture. In Galatians 2.20, He wants to have a relationship with the crucified you. In Romans 12, verse 1, He wants to have a relationship with the living sacrifice. In James 4.8, He wants you to draw nigh to Him. In Matthew 22.37, He wants you to love Him with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your might. In John 3.30, He wants you to decrease that He might increase. This is the kind of relationship that He wants with us. He wants us to love Him with our innermost being. If you will notice, the heart, the soul, the mind, and the strength are all from the innermost being. And this is how He wants us to love Him. He wants to have that spirit-to-spirit intimacy. Remember, the worship that pleases Him is a worship in spirit and in truth. And we can only have this communion, this fellowship, this intimacy, this enjoying in His presence when we do it through our quality time with Him. When we really plan on a day-to-day basis to spend quality time with Him, this is not just the kind of prayer that says, Bless me, Lord. Lord, I want this and I want that. I want you to protect me. But this is the time that we're in. You enjoy your presence. You worship Him. You, You praise Him through His Word. You read His Word. You listen to Him. You wait on Him. This is the time we're in. You are not so concerned about time. These are the moments we're in. You lost track of time because you are so in love with Him. You just want to be with Him. Sometimes you just cry. Sometimes you just read His Word. Sometimes you burst in tears because His soul, His love is so real. He's so tangible that you cannot get out from His presence. You are just enjoying His presence. 
You know, I heard one teacher say, teaching about prayer, that his prayer time is 90% communion, only 10% intercession and petition. When we commune with him on a regular basis, then and only then, he can permeate our inner being from our spirit to our soul to our body. Whatever we give to the Lord, whatever we surrender to Him, that only He can transform. If we want an inner transformation, if we want to be transformed from the inside out, communion is the answer. So I encourage you, brethren, I encourage you, LCC, and all of those who will be watching this video, let us commune with God. Let us enjoy His presence. Nothing can compare to His presence. I have been enjoying God's presence since January, and I am really desiring to pursue His presence on a daily basis. And this is my prayer for all LCC specialists, that we will all pursue Him, that this will be our life's pursuit, that we will prioritize Him amidst the business of the day. He is our priority because He is the lover of our soul. He is the one who gave His all to us. He deserves our time more than anyone else, more than even our family. He deserves our time. He deserves our affection. He deserves our all. So LCC, let's go for it. Let us love God more than we used to. Let's prioritize Him above all. And we will see tremendous results. Whatever we give to Him, He is more than able to transform. Whatever we surrender to Him, He will multiply. God bless you.